Hi, it's Phil Bedford here and welcome to The Rebel Networker. And today I'm here with Dave Ulrich in Dubai, another of Right Selection's fantastic events. Um, and I've just come out of the uh, seminar where Dave was talking about a couple of really key points that I think are very relevant for you and particularly uh, our clients. Um, one of the things he was talking about, I think actually comes out in this book, which is the why of work. Um, and we actually talk about in networking, trying to recruit your network with people who have a common why, a common belief. Uh, because when you have passion and belief, um, so much more can be accomplished than just recruiting people because they want money. Amen. Firstly, <laughs> welcome to Dubai. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Um, so if you could just mention, you mentioned something about recruiting for culture yep. and training for technical. I think that's the same. I mean, one of the things we have found, Phil, is that in any company, they can produce products, services, sell them at a cost. Is there a set of passions and beliefs from those who work in the company? We've all seen companies who have it. You go to a restaurant, you go to a hotel, you can tell the passion and belief of those who work there. And it doesn't take long to show. Your introduction to this show, the passion, the belief that you have for your show comes across. And those of us as users feel that. Part of the job of an organization leader is to not just have people who have technical skills. You can train that. In fact, you could have people running the camera who are not technically very good, but they can do a good enough job with that. Gotham's doing okay. That's like okay. That. That's how we said it. <laughs> but what you really want is to hire people who have a cultural fit. And part of that cultural fit is a belief in the intent of the company. It's called firms of endearment. Do I believe in the purpose and passion of the company? Fantastic. You, you, you actually mentioned something, I think, which leans towards that again. And I, I love the example because I'm a bit of a film buff and I love my films. And you, I'll, I'll let you tell the story, but it was, it was really about success of films and the no key questions. points. I mean, one of the messages is a lot of companies say, if I just hire really great people, we win. Not enough. You've got to hire people that work well together. And it's the team, not the individual. In films, and you would know this better than me, you're an expert, the leading actor or actress who wins the Academy Award is in the film that wins Movie of the Year 20% of the time. 15% male, 25% female. More detail than you need to know. But the director is in the film that wins 70% of the time. The leading director. What does that say? Directors put together cast, production companies. And it's not just the individual talent, it's how that talent works together. So, what's the takeaway? I'm a leader in a company. As I hire people, I should be asking myself, will he or will she make us as a team better than we are today? Brilliant. I think there's two great tips there. Great, simple tips. Um, by the way, I've got to ask you, what gives you your passion? For helping people spend more time with their families. Nice. And take the pain away from growing their business. You know, there's a, there's a, a friend of mine, Wayne Brockbank, is working in Abu Dhabi. And he's working with Adia, the, the sovereign wealth fund that invests money. He has a brilliant insight. The leaders in a public agency in this region should be building a firm their grandchildren should be proud of. Mm -hmm. And the stakeholder is not an investor because they create uh, the wealth fund. But the stakeholder are their grandchildren. Their grandchildren. Are you doing they're investments they're so your grandchildren will be proud? There are some companies in the world that, that have enormous wealth from oil or other natural resource, and they're basically stealing the future from their grandchildren by misusing the wealth for themselves. The best leaders are creating organizations their grandchildren will be proud to work in. I love that. I love the metaphor. That's it's a fantastic. great metaphor. So thank you hey, so thank much you, for Phil. your time. I look great forward to seeing you in the future. And are you creating a business your grandchildren will be proud of? Phil Bedford, Rebel Network.